Hello everyone, it is Monday, November 9th, 2009, and, well, again, this is my intro. Alright, so very first and foremost is the fact that I did academic advising today, which means I got my hold lifted, therefore, meaning that I can actually go and, uh, Sign up for classes, I think, tomorrow or Wednesday. I don't quite remember which one. But yes, I get to sign up for classes soon, which in the, along this next week. Mm. But yeah. So we are getting towards second semester. We're closing in first semester of sophomore year, and we seem to all be doing quite well. Um, I had a test today in Anthro 102, and I had a few quizzes last week in uh, Chinese and astronomy. Um, so, news today is this last week a uh, news report came out from NASA.com, NASA.gov actually, that the scientists at NASA, um, biochemists, or well astrochemists technically, they did an experiment on a particular drug, I don't remember what it is, but the link is going to be in the sidebar I think it's that way. It might be that way, though. But, anyway. There'll be a link somewhere, and it's talking about this experiment. Basically what happened, they developed uracil. Uracil is one of the four basic chemicals needed for an RNA molecule. That doesn't mean much to many people, but they were able to develop it without any actual unnatural means. They set it into an environment very similar to the one in space and put it inside ice and the radiation was able to turn it into uracil which means there is actual proof now that the basic building blocks of life can be formed in space without any need to actually construct it ourselves this go is the first major discovery in that field since 1952 when there was an experiment that was able to create chemicals that are organic for essential for life for like food and such. Somewhere along the line actually there's been one about amino acids but I don't quite remember what it is. But yeah, I thought that was exciting and there was nothing on the news networks about it so I figured everybody who watches uh, you ought to know it because I think it's quite entertaining. Well, and while we're on the space, space information talk um, I have been looking up stuff with Carl Sagan and such stuff, and I've been looking up his books, they're all rather expensive, but in the near future I plan on buying some of them so I can actually read them. That's that, I've been looking a whole lot into that. I will be starting to watch his documentary, the, the seminal thing that he did in the, seven, in the early 80s, named Cosmo is a Personal Journey, which is largely out of date now, but I feel that I should watch it because it's sort of got a lot of people into it, so I'm going to watch it. Uh, hopefully enjoy it. The bits I've seen are gloriously early 80s, but I think it's going to be good. I sent Brian another letter, a really fun letter, which is going to be fun to hear his reaction to. I mixed some Chinese and French into the letter, so it should be pretty good. Also, we had Jay post his first video in a few weeks up today. Or, well, last week, and hopefully he does it so to, and again this week. Hopefully we can hear something from Jess, but Jess has a job now, so good job, Jess. Um, means you get paid now. So, cool. Um, hopefully you can make it on Wednesday. If you can't, I will understand. Because I know how much it's like to be busy, which I haven't been lately. But yes, that's another thing. Um, next semester, probably not going to have the academic probation that I was stuck on be lifted because they won't do it until all the grades are better. Um, so I'll have to wait until after next semester for that, which is fine because I'll do quite well next semester, I think. I'll be in more difficult classes. And then first semester of junior year, I'm going to be doing a ridiculous amount of work, and I'm hoping to do physics and calculus one over the summer. It's going to be busy. Um, other than that, not much. I've continued reading the Voyager book. I'm over halfway done with it now. I've been very slow in reading it. But hopefully it'll be done so then I can get to Last Chance to See in Douglas Adams. 
Anyway, I think that's all. Uh, there was something else I was going to say, but I don't remember it. So, I guess it wasn't that important. So, that's my video for today. I'm Angus Martin reminding you that laziness prevails, and I'll see you all next week.